Tongues in the front, please. No tongues in the front. K with your with the back of your throat. Okay. And how do we write clever cat? I think this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you start right at the top, all the way around her face at the top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yes. And if your name starts with a k, then it's even easier. Start at the top. Round her face. So it's just a little bit bigger. See, that one smaller than that one. So if your name starts with a k, clever cat, I want you to practice writing a big clever cat and a smaller clever cat. Okay, and same as the F and the B, try use different materials. So if you used sand to write a eh, and you used sugar to write b and now you can use flour to write k or you can maybe make some mud. Oh, that would be fantastic. Make some mud and then you can have some mud cupcakes. Oh, look at that teacher Marisa is getting clever. Getting some mud cupcakes because that starts with a yes so then you can have some mud cupcakes and while you're making your mud cupcakes you can have your clever cat with your finger writing her in your mud okay so that's your that's one of the exercise that's your first exercise that you're going to do but before you do that I'm going to show you the picture of her story while I read it and while I'm reading you the story of clever cat you can look for all the wonderful things in there that start with a K. And there's lots of things. Even the flowers' names start with a K. So flower starts with a F sound. But every flower has got a different name. Did you know that? So these flowers, maybe ask mom, granny, daddy, someone who knows flowers, <laughs> what their names are. Okay, so here's the picture, and I'm going to read you her story. Enjoy. Clever cat loves to sit by the Letterland castle, having a cup of cocoa and doing her crossword puzzle. She is such a clever cat. She can fill in all the words before she has finished her cake. If you went to Letterland, you would probably see Clever Cat driving around in her car. If anyone has a problem, Clever Cat will come to help. She knows how to cook carrots and cauliflower and make custard and 
cakes. She knows how to count, how to clean her car, how to carry things carefully, and lots more. If anyone in Letterland asks, who can help us with this problem? The answer is usually, clever cat can. Did you like that story? So did I. And there are so many things in that picture that start with a k that I didn't say in the story. So that's your first thing you can do is try and look for those things that start with a k. I'll help our moms and dads with a f one of the flowers that I know because the other flowers I don't. The one flower that I know starts with a k is the pink flower in the corner and that is called a carnation. Yes. So look for all the things inside there that start with a k sound. Okay. So that's the first thing you can do. Then you can go outside and make your clever cat everywhere in the house, everywhere outside with your mud and make your mud cupcakes and have so much fun writing clever cat everywhere. Okay, then your second one, just like we did with a and b, I want you to get a piece of paper, write clever cat on it, put it down, and go around and find anything that starts with a k sound because we it will be very hard to find words that start that have the clever cat in the middle i want instead of three words that start with a k sound i want you to try get as many words as possible so let's aim for five or six words that have the k sound in it at the beginning of the word and again let's try be as phonetically correct as we possibly can to help with the reading process i'm going to put words up in three different three different pages an annie apple page a bouncy band page and a clever cat page and moms and dads can pause the screen or moms and dads can write those words down on a separate piece of paper for you and what i need you to do then or for my grade r's what would be better is if you could copy the words maybe yourself, that would be very good. And then you, your job then is to find all the Annie Apples that are on the Annie Apple page, circle them for me please. And for Bouncy Ben, same thing, write down all the words that I have there for Bouncy Ben, and then with a different color co uh, cookie, circle all the, uh, circle all the Bouncy Bens that you can find in those words. Clever cat, same thing. Write them down, different color cookie, circle all the clever cats that you can find in those words. Okay, and that's your revision for a, b, and c.